welcome back to the plot it is pouring rain and it's been like this all week i haven't been very much this week the weather has been terrible it's nearly the end of august and i would like to know where the summer has gone because we are already it would seem by the color of some of the leaves and the trees it seems like we're already in autumn summer has just gone um but i wanted to bring you here and show you Lazarus for one because he's had quite the saga and the tomato plants are growing a lot of greenery. They need a little bit of work today. I'm going to attack them today and try and tidy them up and lighten the load a little bit because they were they were keeling over when I first came in. So I want to give them a bit of attention. The plan was to come up and do the, the compost bin. I might do a little. I've got this. I might do a little, we'll see. But I'll show you Lazarus and um, the tomatoes. Something dripping. I'll show you the tomatoes as they are. The aubergines are still growing. There's there's no sign really that I'm gonna get there's no sign that I'm gonna get an aubergine this year, but the plants look nice. I do have one tomato. First things first though. Check out Lazarus. Hey, he's throwing out flowers left, right, and centre. This boy means business. So do you know what? I, might, I mean, it is quite warm in here still. So, come on, Lazarus. I am so impressed with you. Oh, hold on, hold on. I've just spotted some. Oh my goodness me. Cucumbers! Oh my god! Look! Two baby cucumbers! <gasps> and check out the flowers. Well, that's, sorry, but I get really excited. I haven't grown any cucumbers in the last couple of years. It's always been a disaster. Lazarus, no pressure, but I'm putting all my hopes on you. If you've seen videos before, you'll know I had all this completely weeded and it was looking great, but yeah, they've come back with a vengeance. And you see what I mean about these aubergine plants? They're growing leaves, but there's no... Is that going to be a flower in there, do you think? It's been many, many years since I grew aubergines, so... I don't know how they're supposed to look. I just thought I'd try it. Never mind. On the other side, the tomato plants... I mean, they're quite big. I've had, I'm, I probably should have pinched out the tips of them before now, but I'm doing that today. But you can see they're a bit top heavy. I'm going to take off um, some of the yucky looking leaves and try and thin them out a little and see if that helps. So I've cut them back a bit. Um, yeah, it is a little disappointing, to be honest. I've taken off a lot of the yellow leaves and the bits that are growing in between, which shouldn't have been. <laughs> there are some things which probably shouldn't be here and I've just left them to grow. And look what I found! Another two tomatoes bringing our total to three! Yeah, I was hiding in here. This is a bit messy, ignore that part. The apple tree is doing not bad. In fact, he's got so many apples. He's leaning over. You can see right at the back, just over here, that's where I should be getting the compost done. I might do a little, we'll see. I've got some blueberries to pick today and this, the fruit area here has got so weedy again. I mean, I have been weeding a lot. I've tried to show it in the videos and things. Our potatoes, sadly, see this patch here? The potatoes did get blight. I've cut a lot of them down. I'm going to have to, there's more to get cut back, I can see. But yeah, welcome to summer in Scotland. There's not much else for it. The wind's picking up. It is a little disheartening when you've done loads of weeding. This is the pea and bean area which I had. Looking pretty nice apart from the fact the peas all fell over but I have found something out 
I was going to start cutting down the broad beans, thinking, you know, they're finished. But apparently they think they're not. There's new shoots coming and there's also, I don't know if you can see just there, little ones starting to form. I just came to pick the older ones thinking, you know, that's them done. But like this one on here, little ones here still. So I'm going to leave them. I'm going to cut back the old ones and let the, the new ones have a bit more light and get the water. We'll see what happens. If nothing comes and nothing comes, but I think it's worth a shot. The runner beans are really starting to come on. That's flowers. I have seen beans. I'll see if I can find some to show you. Kind. We'll have a fight soon, see what I can find, and then I can show you what I managed to harvest from there. So I've got some beans, we mix there. I've also got another wee bit of broccoli. Some peas. A couple of onions. A little beetroot. The weather's calmed down quite a bit now, actually. This, this is why we find it quite tricky gardening here. It's a wee bit blowy but not too bad. But as I do I want to show you my failures as well as things that have gone pretty well. And the problem I'm having this year, and now I know why, the cauliflower is a disaster. And I'm going to actually rip this one out and show you why it's a disaster. Twist that out. Look at that club root. Fatal. Absolutely fatal to my brassicas. So, no cauliflower this year. However, despite that, something I've never grown before is kohlrabi. And I'm going to take that one. I didn't put many in, I think I put six in. That one's quite small. This one's doing not bad. There's one in there which is tiny, and I think two died to, well, probably club root. And the kale's looking good. I'll take some of that as well. This is Red Winter. Love it. This is the first kale I ever grew, the first type, so I always come back to this one. Here's a few different types. But the one that grows the best usually is red winter. Maybe because it's colder here. That's what works for us. And just before I go, I have a puzzle for you. Genuinely, I don't know what's happened. This is the older blueberry bush. And, you know, still got some on it. We didn't, we didn't pick them all today. But what is going on? When your blueberries come out dark red, 